Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Phyllis. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you why I decided to go back to work after being retired for five years. If you're interested in hearing my reason, then just keep watching. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. And when I said I was retiring, I said I wasn't going to go back to work ever again. Well, I learned even before this time, say never, say never. Hello everyone. Good morning or it's afternoon, 12.51, Tuesday, May 23rd. So first of all, let me welcome everyone back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if this is your first time, please consider subscribing. Um, check out my videos to see if you like um, what you see. I mainly do DIYs, but I'm starting to implement home decor more home decor videos and i also do a few um thrift store hauls and goodwill hauls here and there but um as you all can guess by looking at the title um, i'm going to share with you how i um, decided to go back into the workforce coming out of retirement is it's not something permanent uh, let me just kind of give you a quick uh, it's not a story. It's just a quick thing as how I made it, made this decision. I retired from this company that I worked for. It's an insurance company that I worked for for 30 years. Um, I started in 87, I believe it was. Yeah, 1987. And I retired in 2018. Um, and I retired as a total loss claims adjuster. The year before I retired, it was October 2017, um, I had to go on short-term disability because um, I started experiencing something that I've never, ever, ever experienced in my life, and that was um, vertigo, which also brought on migraine headaches. And then, you know, living here in Atlanta, driving back and forth with that, it was a challenge. I live... Um, at least 45 minutes to an hour drive in moderate traffic to work back and forth. But whenever I'd come home, it takes me like two hours almost to get home from work. So um, because I started experiencing that a lot, um, there were times where I couldn't get up to go to work because you know, for those that have experienced vertigo, everything is spinning. So I barely can stand up straight I would try to push myself sometime, but um, there are times that I shouldn't have because it was very dangerous being in traffic. So to kind of try to keep my head clear and to minimize the ringing in my ear, I would uh, turn on the AC in my car to kind of just keep some air, you know, flowing through because when it's hot, that even aggravated it more, um, aggravated the ringing. And then I would just get so disoriented. Well, um, after calling in several times, I just, you know, I had to make a decision. I went to the doctor and um, after talking with the doctor and my management, mainly the doctor, uh, he told me, um, you may want to consider seeing if they will allow you to work part-time. Well, they weren't having that. So I was able to get out on short-term disability until I can, you know, um, manage this situation. Well, it just so happened it was the year before I planned to retire. But when it came for me to go back to work, they were saying that I was able to go back to work two weeks before it was time for me to retire. I had vacation time and I said, nope, I'll just, I sent my manager um, an email says, I'm just going to take the two weeks vacation. I don't need a paycheck. I'm not coming back to work to two weeks and then retire. And when I said I was retiring, I said I wasn't going to go back to work ever again. Well, I learned even before this time to say never, say never. Now that's for me. I'm talking to me. So um, the year that I retired, a coworker friend of mine called me um, and said, Phyllis, um, I know you just retired, but State Farm decided to make a new program for retirees only to work catastrophe claims when the catastrophes come about, like um, when hurricanes come about, those are for homeowners and then for cars that got damaged. I worked in the auto department. I didn't work in homeowners department. 
they were going to implement this, didn't know when it was going to start. Um, so I, they sent an email to all retirees that might be interested. And I responded to that. Let me see. I retired in February and I responded to that email in September of the same year. Hadn't heard anything at all. And I figured it's because I wasn't selected. And then when 2020 came about, I figured, okay, they would just um, halt it. I think they actually activated it this year. And I received an email and they stated um, that they were activating this, they call it RAP, which is Retirement Assistance Program. And we were to assist in claims, catastrophe claims. Um, this go round here is for those that worked in the auto claims department, which was me. Um, that's where I worked. I never worked in the homeowners department. So if that comes about, like say in June and July, when the Florida hurricane and stuff comes around and homes are damaged, then they will probably have a team that they will reach out that worked in the homeowners department sometime in the fall. But right now they reached out to everyone that just worked in the auto department who might be interested. I put in for it and I got selected and worked directly from home. They're going to be bringing me um, equipment, which is the same thing that was set up at our desk. We, I'm going to say this quickly. I'm just going to share with you all the reason why I decided to do this. When I retired, I, that's when I began to activate my YouTube channel. And in 2020, of course, we know when the pandemic came, I wasn't home. I was home from January to March. And then I went to Florida and I stayed the rest of the year to help out my daughters because school shut down. So I helped them out with my grands as far as their homework, excuse me, homework being home and um, different other things. Uh, this year or last year, which was 2021, um, I decided to sell my car. I sold my car to my daughter because I'm home and I don't go anywhere. And it saved me on car insurance, gas. Anytime I need anything like groceries or anything, I order it from Amazon. It's no big deal. And I'm a homebody, so it's no big deal. So I think I shared in other videos when they stated the quarantine that you had to stay in your home, it was something that was not new to me because I quarantined myself. Um, and not just only sold my car, I gave away all of my clothes. And I just did this just last year um, or beginning of this year. I gave all, my, all of my work clothes away to Salvation Army. Because I planned to never go back to work. But then there are other things that I'm trying to do. And when you retire, you get used to living financially a different way. You become more frugal. Um, living off of a check that is nowhere near what you made when you were working. I knew this before I retired. And I was prepared for it. So it was no big shock to me. Having the opportunity to do something that I have already done because to work in the position that we were in when we retired and get the same pay when retired and I can still keep my pension check coming once a month. That won't be affected. The only time it would have been affected if I was receiving social security. I'm not. I'm only 60. I'm not 62 and a half. I think that's when you start receiving it position is only temporary it's only for five months and you can't work no I can't work no more than five months and it might end before five months who knows but the limit is five months so it's perfect because there are some things that I'm trying to get in order financially because of some decision lifestyle decisions that made up in my mind but to get there I need additional funds and I thank God that he opened this door for me um, to be able to be selected to work for the company that I worked for 30 years. And not only that, I don't have to train for anything new. Of the fact that I'll be just working from home. So I will be uploading a decorate and set office setup to work from home with me video. I'm excited that I got this opportunity only because it's not permanent. That's why it's easy for me to just say, okay, I'm good with it. So, um, I just wanted to share with you all that I am retired, still retired, but I'm just doing this temporary thing because of some things I want to do. And I prayed and asked God for 
confirmation basically with the decision that I have that I wanted to make, but I knew some financial doors had to be open and this is one of the doors. That did. So I thought I'd just come and just share that quickly with you all and that I'm learning to say never say never because I was one of those that said when I retire, I'm not ever going back to work. I ain't pack. I'm not packing no grocery bags for nobody. I'm not doing no Uber. I'm not doing no DoorDash. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just going to do me. But never say never, at least for me. I just thought I'd just come on and just share that with you all. It is going to slow me down some more putting up posting videos because all I will have is Saturday and Sunday to work on things when I'm doing a DIY it takes me just about all day to do that. Then I take hours to edit. So I'm going to still do my best to upload one video a week. I've been doing one video a week, at least constant. I might have, um, for this year, I think I might have come down a little where I would do one every other week. But um, I'm going to keep the content coming. So I want to thank you all for stopping by and just taking out the time to listen to why I decided to go back to work. But it's part-time, not a permanent thing, and I'm still retired, and I'm going to stay retired, but I'm learning to never say never. So I want to thank you all for stopping by, and you have a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.